you know the Bible says not to put up Christmas trees? It's true. This is a common argument that you'll see many atheists, pagans, and even some fundamentalist Christians argue. But nonetheless, let's hear it. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 says, Do not learn the ways of the nations, for the practices of the peoples are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails. Now, is Jeremiah chapter 10 actually talking about Christmas trees being forbidden? Not even close. The context of the passage is about wooden idols which are worshipped instead of the worship of God. The passage isn't even talking about the worship or idolization of trees. Verse 3 literally states that they cut a tree out of the forest and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. Then in verse 8 of that same chapter we read, they are all senseless and foolish. They are taught by worthless wooden idols. This passage is speaking of a craftsman or woodcutter taking a tree and turning it into a wooden statue of an idol. That's why in verse 5 we read, Their idols cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot walk. This implies that the idols are in the shape of false gods and do not have branches or resemble anything to the like of a Christmas tree or even a tree at all after they've been carved up into statues. This makes sense because Christmas trees weren't originally a Christian tradition. They originated with the pagan peoples of Northern Europe. They're one of many traditions that people have invented to celebrate the winter solstice, traditions which were then co-opted by the Christian church and folded into the holiday of Christmas, which incidentally is not the day Jesus was born. There is no evidence Christmas trees were used by pagans especially in the sense that Christians practice it. Scholars tend to see the earliest ideas of Christmas trees coming from plays of Adam and Eve, which took place on December 24th, and in which they would decorate the trees with various different objects, such as apples, in reference to the book of Genesis. It's also important to clarify that many cultures throughout history, even ancient Christians, have decorated their houses with evergreen trees and wreaths, as it's a plant which stays green even throughout winter. These cultures may apply some tradition to why they do so, but putting greenery in one's house does not follow that it comes from paganism, as it's a very general practice. The book of Isaiah also seems to approve of decorating places with pine or greenery. We read in Isaiah chapter 60, Verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come to you, the cypress, the plain, and the pine, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will glorify where my feet rest. Obviously, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting up a Christmas tree, but it's another example of how most religious people take a pick and choose approach to faith, focusing on the Bible verses they like while ignoring others. Your argument is also an example of how people will pick and choose which verses they like that fit their agenda or argument, and which verses they ignore. Not only are Christmas trees okay to practice, I recommend you do so. Thank you for watching, and God bless.